Research is a journey of discovery. Like any journey, having a map helps. The Research Onion is that map. Created by Saunders, Lewis and Thornhill, it's a model for planning research projects. It looks like an onion because it has layers. Each layer represents a decision you need to make about your research. By working through each layer, you ensure a well-structured and robust study. Let's peel back these layers. At the onion's core are your research philosophies. These are your fundamental beliefs about how knowledge is created. They influence every other part of your research. Do you believe in one objective truth known as positivism or are there multiple interpretations which we call interpretivism? Understanding your philosophy is key to choosing the right research methods. Once you know your philosophy, you need an approach. This is how you connect theory and data. Will you start with a hypothesis and test it, which is called deductive? Or will you observe and then develop a theory known as inductive? Maybe a mix of both, referred to as abductive. The approach you choose will shape how you design your study. Now it's time for strategy. This is your overall plan for conducting the research. Will you conduct an experiment to test a specific idea? or maybe a survey to gather data from a large group, perhaps a case study to explore a particular situation in depth. Your chosen strategy dictates how you collect and analyze your data. Section five, layer four, choices. With a strategy in place, you need to pick your research methods. Will you use quantitative methods, focusing on numbers and statistics, or qualitative methods, exploring experiences and meanings through interviews and observations, you can even mix both. Section 6, Layer 5, Time Horizons. Time is another factor to consider. Will your research be a snapshot in time, or will you track changes over a longer period? Your time horizon influences how you design your study and collect data. Section 7, Layer 6, Techniques and Procedures. Finally, the outermost layer, techniques and procedures. This is where you get specific. What tools will you use to collect data, surveys, interviews, experiments? And how will you analyze that data? Statistical software, thematic analysis? These choices depend on your previous decisions and research questions. Section eight, applying the research onion. Let's say you're researching the impact of social media on teenagers' self-esteem. Using the research onion, you might choose a positivistic philosophy, a deductive approach, a survey strategy, a quantitative method, a cross-sectional time horizon, and use online questionnaires as your technique. Each layer informs the next, creating a cohesive research plan. Section nine, conclusion. The research onion might seem like a lot to digest, but remember, it's a guide, not a rule book. It's there to help you think critically about your research design and ensure that all the pieces fit together logically. So embrace the layers and let the research onion be your roadmap to a successful research journey.